Hello Kerbalot and welcome for the epic quest to hunt for the Kraken on Bop. As many of you may know or may not know, so spoiler alert, the Kraken is on Bop. The famous or infamous, I suppose you could call it, Kraken which tears apart your craft, especially when you don't build them properly or use some of the tools like um, clipping and auto strut which seems to cause some problems and I've used it on this craft as well as the craft I'm attaching it to that's just because well this thing is huge well not this bit but the next bit when we build it all together it caps my CPU or my frames per second out at 11 frames per second on our transition towards dual but first off we have to build the bloody thing so let's launch the transfer craft this is not just the transfer craft it's also the craft that will safely get the Kerbals home and safely land them on Kerbin. Although it has not been tested at a return mission, it has been tested in high Kerbin orbit and return to Kerbin. And we'll find out. Anyway, let's get this built. First off, we have to attach the rover or the hover rover. Um, is it a VTOL? Yeah, I suppose you call it a VTOL. It's not really a rover because it hasn't got any wheels, but let's get this docked to the transfer craft and then we can get this on the way. However, however, there are some problems. Mainly that I did not anticipate the size. Now, the large tank on the back of the VTOL hover rover, and that tank is there for balancing, basically, uh, because they've got the large RCS tanks on the bottom of the VTOL rover, it's offsetting the mass, so we had to offset it with something or other, and, well, the tank did. We can empty it and fill it as much as we need, and we can also use it as extra fuel for the mission if required. Anyway, the thing I did not notice was that this was the wrong size. I tried everything. I tried fitting it this way, that way, make sure the bottom engines aren't in the way, and then the tank's in the way. Ah, uh, go figure. There's my engineering skills. I launch before I test it. So what do I do? Re-edit the craft, widen the lengths of this transfer craft. But still, that rover VTOL thing is unworldly. I can't say the word properly. Unworldly? No, I can't. Anyway, it is unworldly. Which I think is an app description. Anyway, now that we've got that attached, which took ages, about half an hour, we can send this on the way. And you probably saw that it looked like it was heading towards the surface of Kerbin. Sort of. We got down from 100 kilometers to 80 kilometers in the transfer bird. And that's because the transfer bird itself took eight minutes with those minuscule engines on the transfer craft. But it made it. We have enough Delta V for the entire mission, hopefully for the return as well. That's aided in the fact that this does not take much Delta V to get into orbit around Bob. So what you want to do is get yourself into highly elliptical orbit like this, and then raise your peri apps to the same orbit as Bob. And if you're at an inclination or at an equatorial orbit, you need to alter your inclination to the same orbit as Bob. There you go. That's the tutorial for today. <laughs> uh, not really. I should probably should do a proper tutorial. How do you get to every moon in Jewel? Uh, from Kerbin. Yeah, I think we, something like that would have to be done. Anyway, let's get this mission to Bob. Get it into orbit. And as you can see, we have just enough Delta V for our return trip to Kerbin. Probably more than enough. But don't forget that fuel counting from the rover as well as the return craft and everything else. So, yeah. And talking about Kerbin returns, I've still got Kerbal stranded on Tylo. In fact, one of my favorite Kerbals stranded is on Tylo. And he's stranded. <laughs> so we're going to have to send a rescue mission for that. And we'll probably have to return all the Kerbins from all the moons. Including, including the Lathe of Bust episodes. Which are, in fact, in the same save as this. Well, right, let's land this rover hover VTOL thing. <laughs> And then I can show you the mods that we have used to make this mission epic. Or a lot, a lot easier for me. And for this mission, three Kerbals have been added. Lucas B. Kerman. We have Daniel Sermon Kerman. And YTBPT Kerman. 
There are three people who asked me Kerbals on this mission, and I obliged. Okay, a couple of problems with this. I did not guess the distance properly. First time, I did crash. I'll admit it. I didn't record that bit. I stopped recording. And that was because I was doing something else. I was look, watching a video and playing KSP at the same time. Not something you should do, especially when you're trying to land a Rover VTOL thing. And by the way, the mod that I installed to try and to make this a lot easier, basically it's sort of like a balancing mod, it's called the TCA, Thrust Control Actuator Autopilot thingamajiggy. Basically, it's sort of like an autopilot, but controls your rocket thrust engines so that they hover or they're just the right thrust. However, I found something out. I forgot to install the particular part of that mod because it comes in modules that mod does and you have to install it when you're in the VAB. I forgot to add the ones that I need to hover safely above the surface of anything. Basically, if you want to use anything VTOL, it works with jet engines as well as thrusters and it doesn't help you not crashing. So do bear in mind. Anyway, after crashing the rover for the second time because the lack of control, it was bloody annoying, I tell you. With the magic of editing, we brought in a craft with fully installed systems. Now, how did that happen? It can't have been done by cheating like using hyper edits, could it now? <laughs> anyway, this is the mod. You can, as you can see, the top one, we can set the height, the terrain height, we, I set it to 213, so basically this will make sure that this will stay at 213. You can also, like in KSP, add waypoints and send it on its way. But before we do that, we have a mission, something I wanted to try. Now I've set this to hover about 67 meters above the ground, but will this work if we put a Kerbal on EVA at the same time? Now part of this mission was to get the Kraken out of hiding because, well, we don't know where it is. We don't know where its lair is. It could be a cave. It could dig itself into the sand on this moon or the dust, I suppose. So what Lucas B is going to do, he's going to set to some explosive. But as he's watching, seeing the rover blast its engines and worrying that it's going to fly away, he crashes into the ground. Luckily, he's got a hard head. And he's a badass as well. So the explosives are part of the Kerbal attachment system, Kerbal inventory system. You can add them to Kerbal's inventory. And then you can set the timer, activate it, and then quickly get out of the way. It'll certainly got a 10 meter explosion radius, which, which is cool because you can set explosives to demolish part of the building. You can also decrease the distance of that. Anyway, as we get closer to the hover rover thing, <laughs> it's a VTOL thing, it uh, seems to be moving all over the place. I'm not sure if this is because this is trying to compensate as well as for us to control in the Kerbal, as well as trying to keep the same height above the surface. But we eventually get ourselves on back on board. And now, with the explosive set off, we think we have the location of the Kraken. So we set some waypoints in the general area where we think the Kraken is. On our way, we set some epic music to play because we are adventurers. We do this because we can, not because we need to. Because we're, we're Kerbals, we're daft enough to do try anything. Why can't humans be more like this? We had the adventurous spirits at times, um, especially with the Apollo missions. People died, but they carried on. But will we do this thing for Mars? I don't know. Anyway, Jewel looks awesome in the distance here. I need to get some screenshots. Well, in fact, I did by here, but uh, I realized we're going to find the Kraken. If we find it, I'll need some screenshots. And you probably clicked on it. <laughs> Anyhow, as we're traveling along, YTRBPT, damn that name. <laughs> He spots the Kraken in the distance, so he'd set some new waypoints. And there, we find the Kraken. Whoa. It seems to be down. It's not moving at all. Were we too late? Did someone kill it first? 
Could it be my awesome videos which had killed the Kraken? Or is it my awesome voice? We're not sure. We have to get a closer look, but we gingerly get closer. Because we're unsure it might spring to life at any time. It might pick up its eyeball, slot it back in its socket, and then turn on us. But wait a minute. What if this is a baby Kraken? And that it's died somehow, something's killed it. It comes here, sees us here, think we killed it. And then the crack will turn on us. And then realizing where the troubles have come from, they'll, it'll turn on Kerbin itself. So we now have a mission to destroy the evidence of this Kraken ever existed. We'll have to set some explosives and destroy it. Oh, and by the way, I'm trying to get some screenshots by here, thinking, is this good? Will this work? Let's try a bit further from the Kraken so we can zoom in on the ship and then try again. Yeah, I've done this several for uh, five to ten minutes, I think. All the time we're running out of monopropellant fuel. <laughs> I don't think we got enough moral propellant to go exploring around Bop any further, so, but we do have a rocket engine on there to get into orbit. Now, Sermon Kerman, that's Daniel Sermon Kerman, has set some explosives. 20 second timing, let's activate them and quickly EVA out of there. Quick, go, go. And I couldn't work out what was going on because I had to control the Kerbal, including the direction that he was traveling, because normally it would snap in the direction the camera is facing. But for some reason it didn't work there. And also got the other Kerbals on follow, so hurry up, quick. Come on guys, get from the explosions. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn, I wish it would destroy the crack in itself, that would be awesome. I wish there was a way that you could actually mine into the planets, as in, create a hole and perhaps build a base in a cavern or something in this game that would be cool anyway I am Orbiter killer of Krakens trust me I'm an engineer